Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the Empire, gonna be taking on the High Elves. You can see we've brought along an Elf Blaster Volley Gun. So uh, let's have a look at the rest of the build as these guys prepare to open up shots here. Got some Empire Knights supporting them. We've also got plenty more Empire Knights. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just kidding, actually. No more Empire Knights. We do have some uh, Zintler's Reichsguard up in Vanguard. A few units of Pistoliers there. Of course, you guys know I'm a huge fan of these Pistoliers. And uh, yeah, we got four units of them here. Uh, Royal Altdorf Graphites being led by an Arch Lector, Jade Wizard. Uh, front line is mostly state troops. We've got Warrior Priests supporting some Swordsmen here as well. And, uh, yeah, the uh, good old Elf Blaster, which is just about to open up shots, I think. Come on, guys. There we go. And uh, we'll watch in real time as the uh, shots fly over and just do immense damage here. We've got some Lothar and Seaguard and Spearmen for the front line. A uh, Bolt Thrower here. Uh, yeah. Over here, we've got a pretty heavy cab force. Silver Helms, Fireborn, a couple of High Elf Nobles with Alariel the Radiant. Uh, Going to be getting into a very pitched cab engagement. You can see I try and pull away with my Reichsguard here. Like, okay, okay, maybe this isn't the best. We've also got the Pistoliers in for some close uh, missile support as well. But, uh, yeah, Reichsguard going to go ahead and counter charge with the Warrior Priest supporting and the Royal Altar of Griffites. We're going to drop some healing in here as well. So a very pitched uh, kind of high-end engagement happening here in this forest. Meanwhile, the Silver Helms pushing up and around. Uh, the Elf Blaster definitely getting countered well by the uh, Bolt Thrower there. However, the Bolt Thrower not firing into this Cav engagement, which arguably might be a little bit more important. You can see we're just intercepting the Silver Helms with overwhelming amounts of Pistoliers. Just way too many bodies for them to handle. We're going to go ahead and support with some uh, State Troop Spearmen as well. And then the Empire Knight's also going to follow up here. So the Silver Helm's just not in the best position. Meanwhile, this pitched cab engagement still going down here. You can see Alariel using her healing, keeping these Fireborn online. They're doing quite well against the Zintler's Reichsguard. And a very nice rear charge here from those Silver Helm's who got caught in a bad situation. Also doing a ton of damage to those Zintler's Reichsguard. Thankfully, the uh, Grand Shield's still active at that moment while the charge did go in. But they still have taken a ton of damage. Royal Alt of Griffite's also not necessarily doing the best. They did get that regrowth to keep their vigor fresh and, uh, you know, keep them nice and healed, but Elves pushing forward at this point. You can see the uh, Hell Blaster. I haven't been able to get many shots of this guy in action, but he's doing a ton of damage to these Lothar and Seaguard here. Just absolutely brutal stuff. One of my favorite units on the uh, Empire roster, even if it's not necessarily super competitive. You can see two of them already blown up by the, uh, the uh, Ever Bolt Thrower here, but High Elves going to be clashing in the front line here. You can see Warrior Priest going to be supporting these Swordsmen charging in here for the Emperor. Beautiful stuff. Meanwhile, in the back line, the Pistoliers and the, uh, the Empire Knights finished off the, uh, what are they, Silver Helms. And meanwhile, over here, the Nobles both quite healthy. Alariel's still quite healthy as well, but uh, the Silver Helms, yeah, they had done a ton of damage, uh, taken a ton of damage, rather. And uh, Fireborn also taking some serious damage. Foss Protection, excellent use of that, though, giving them 68 melee defense, 140 armor. Uh, these non-AP, you know, low melee attack troops will definitely struggle in that aspect. Meanwhile, again, the Pistoliers just kind of providing bodies and a little bit of Overwatch fire on this cab engagement here. If we can potentially get some units when they terrify away, chase them off with the Pistoliers. You know, these much higher value units of cab that could be extremely cost effective even just kind of standing around here and being in the way you know providing that little bit of missile support um, definitely being effective here keeping these fireborn from really being able to unify with their infantry force here meanwhile infantry fight not necessarily going terribly for the high elves the state troops won't trade super f they actually trade pretty effectively all things considered but the high elf spearmen will win out many engagements here of course with the uh, hammer of sigmar this unit of swordsmen will definitely win out but uh, bolt, th or bolt Thrower, yeah, shut down the Hellblaster Volley Gun there very effectively. Unfortunately, a little bit late with these Pistoliers shutting down the Bolt Thrower. It was not able to save that Hellblaster. A little bit of a sad day on that one. But nonetheless, more Pistoliers, again, being very cost-effective, just bogging down these Fireborn, not really allowing them to get the clean open charges that they would need to finish off the Royal Altar Crypt fights here. And also the Nobles, very nice use of the Nobles here supporting this cab engagement. They'll do a ton of damage, uh, you know, as they fight in this particular pocket. The Royal Altar Crypt fights are kind of a match for them, but if we just look at their stats here, 44 and 60 for their combat sets. That 60 melee defense especially makes them very, very tanky, very tough to kill in melee. You can see, though, again, just these Pistoliers mobbing the regrouped Fireborn and just chasing them off because they just have so many unit models here. The Fireborn very, very tattered at this point. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like they're actually trying to pull away here, but just the Pistolier is too much for them, just keeping them trapped in there. Meanwhile, Ilario tried to get loose over here, and the Jade Wizard and Empire Knights did manage to catch her up. Uh, she's not in the best situation here. She'll do okay against the Jade Wizard, but the Empire Knights especially will do quite well. The Nobles are going to try and come spring her loose, but... Uh, Arch Lecter is following up with the Royal Altar for fights here. Uh, unfortunately, because it's mostly Empire Knights in contact, it's going to be tough. But Talariel throwing down an Earth Blood there to keep all those heroes fresh and healthy. She herself getting pretty close to her healing cap, though. A little bit of a dangerous situation. You can see a Silver Helm's shattered. We've shattered the uh, crew there. And the Fireborn getting chased off most ignominiously just by a mass of Pistoliers. So, yeah, I think they are actually going to finish them to a man here. And you can see them kind of popping shots as they... Uh, as they get in attacks as well. That's why Pistoliers are one of the better units on the Empire roster for chasing routing troops, and they will shatter those Fireborn there, so that is going to put a pretty severe dagger in the balance of power, uh, despite the fact, you know, this the heroic squad's relatively healthy, um, outside of Lario, obviously, but uh, the two nobles still doing quite well, just wearing down the uh, Zittler's Reichsguard and these other heavy cavalry units for the Empire over time. You can see the Royal Alta Griffites almost to their healing cap, having taken quite a bit of damage from those nobles especially. But, uh, yeah, you can see uh, High Elves trying to bring back some uh, regrouped infantry here, but the infantry fight starting to go just numbers-wise in favor of the Empire. We're pushing some spearmen back here into the back lines, so, yeah, Pistolier's going to come over and finish things off as well. That is going to be more or less game over for uh, High Elves here. You can see Ilariel barely holding together her leadership, but I do believe my opponent's going to admit defeat in just a moment here. We'll grab some more cinematics of uh, the Empire finishing off these High Elves here. And the Empire Knights pulling up the hill, Pistoliers, of course, pulling up on station, shooting into the back of those Lothran Sea Guard. Excellent stuff. Really, really excellent stuff. Loving where Pistoliers are at right now. Empire, definitely a Tier 1 faction in my eyes. Uh, just they have such an excellent variety of units, and uh, realistically, you know, um, most factions, you can go a lot of different ways against them, and it's hard to then game plan against the Empire just because they can bring such variety to the field so yeah definitely a very fun battle hope you guys enjoyed watching that one 41 kills on the blaster just a bit of memes there but uh, the Pistoliers despite the fact they didn't get that many kills you gotta understand they were operating most of that time against those heavy cavalry so many of those kills coming against things like Fireborn and Silver Helms which is just super cost effective and again just being able to stand around with lots of cav bodies that also have pretty decent missile attacks they're not great in melee but they can at least you know provide you a lot of massive numbers in the cav in the yeah mobility or cav engagements so uh 43 for the royal altar griffites 22 for the zindler's likes guard they more or less were just soaking hits for the griffites while they did the work against the more elite units for the high elves here state troop infantry doing excellent in the front line with the support of that warrior priest who himself got 30 kills against those high elf spearmen not bad at all uh for my opponent here Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, excellent pick in this matchup. I would honestly probably cut these two Lothurn Sea Guard and just replace them with Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. Uh, you can counter fire that artillery even quicker and focus fire on enemy heavy cavalry as well and just try and play a little bit more of a conservative, you know, control type build. Don't necessarily take your cav engagement away from your own supporting infantry. That being said, it's tough uh, because the Empire can just bring overwhelming numbers. It can definitely be tough for the High Elves, but... Uh, go ahead and have a look here uh, I'd be interested to see how Tyrion might do in this matchup but let's stick with Ilariel here she, she is certainly one of the uh, best legendary lords for the Empire Fawn's protection we're gonna hang on to Earthblood as well uh, Tempest is definitely a good option to have just in case and Ilariel with this kit relatively cheap you do want the physical resistance as well Stave of Averlorn, uh, because it doesn't actually reduce the cost of Earthblood anymore, I don't always take this necessarily, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave her like that. Nobles, get them on the horse, just cut their abilities so I don't have to worry about the micro. Also, again, makes them cheaper, and with the High Elves, you're always, always trying to optimize everything for cost, because their army is so expensive across the board. So we'll come in and grab something like this. Uh, let's see here. Bolt Throwers. Uh, we might even just want one more Spearman just for fun. Uh, Fireborn, pretty expensive target, and if they get hit by something like the Hammer of Witches, it's going to be trouble for them. Uh, but they are pretty good in this matchup. I mean, you're really going to struggle against the Demigriff Knights especially, so... <clears throat> Although, you, since you have the Nobles to provide that anti-large, I might just cheap out and go for the cheaper Dragon Princes, just to help get a little bit of, again, optimizing cost here. 
Maybe you grab two Reaver Archers instead, and then you still have enough for a Silver Helm with shields. Or maybe you do something cheeky and say, uh, get a Distraction Chariot, bring a unit of Tyrannoch Chariots to just run around, be annoying to infantry. Um, and it will also force the... Uh, well, number one, you'll be able to win the infantry fight if you micro them effectively, and you'll also potentially force the Royal Altar Griffites away from your other heavy cavalry, which can then come in, get a good flank. Again, if they get bogged down on your chariots, you can be focus firing with these bolt throwers. Um, with the remaining funds, you know, you could maybe optimize a few different things, but I might toss a few chevrons into these guys just to juice up their refire rate and everything. So something like this, I think, might be pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. High Elves definitely have a lot of variety as well, but just because of their limited numbers, they're a little bit more linear in what they can bring. But I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.